everybody. Happy International Women's Day. Maybe you knew it was International Women's Day. Maybe you didn't. But if you didn't, that's it. So go girls. Go, go team. I wanted to give today a little introduction to the whole speech assignment. And we are going to add an element every day. So when I show you the assignment or when you open the assignment and you see a whole bunch of different resources, do not panic because we are going to add a little bit every day. Um, today we're going to just go on over one specific part and talk about the structure of the essay. Then I'm going to give you the rest of the time to work on your rough draft. If you have not turned in your thesis statement for me for approval, what are you waiting for? Let's get that done so that we, you guys can get ready to go on with the rest of your speech. First of all, I do want to tell you, in many ways, a speech sets up a lot like an essay. Because even in a speech, you need to hook your audience, get them to want to hear you. You need to give them some background information about your topic. And then you need to talk about what the claim is of what your speech is going to be about. Then as you lay out your support, you still need to organize it in chunks of information. And finally, drive your point home at the end with a BAM for your conclusion. So it's going to look a little bit like an essay structure, or a lot like an essay structure, but we're going to be adding some rhetorical elements as well. So you will notice that in your assignments, this assignment popped up yesterday, uh, taking a stand speech summative. So you are going to be using the data you collected over the last few days to use in your summative. Please read the directions carefully so you know what we're going to be doing. But we're going to be working on this all week and part of next week. And I will go over on how to, how to add each element, counterclaim, rhetorical appeals, and rhetorical strategies in daily mini lessons. Today, we're going to look at the overall speech structure with the structure guideline. Tuesday, we're going to learn how to write a counterclaim paragraph. Wednesday, we're going to review rhetorical appeals. Thursday, working on including rhetorical strategies. We're out of school Friday and Monday. So then Tuesday, we're going to revise and edit. And Wednesday is for recording. Your final draft is due on Wednesday, and the recorded speech is due at the beginning of class Thursday, so we're going to start watching them then. Um, as you will see, there are a lot of resources on here. Um, there's the place to record your speech. There are several things about rhetorical devices, counterclaim, et cetera, et cetera. Don't get overwhelmed because we're going to talk about a little bit each day. Um, but today we're going to focus on... oh. I'll do a quick little review of the rubric, and then we're going to focus on the writing structure. So you will be graded on your hook and introduction, your supporting details, how relevant and well chosen they are, how well you organize your ideas, your rhetorical appeals, ethos, pathos, and logos. We'll talk about that later on this week and how to incorporate that into your essay and to highlight that for me and rhetorical devices, things like parallelism, repetition, restatement, rhetorical questions, those types of things, how well you conclude it, how well you deliver the speech, how your eyes and body, how you keep contact with the audience, your voice, how are you speaking clearly, not too quickly or slowly, loudly enough for everyone to hear, etc. And then finally, you will submit a works cited page. Again, every single one of these elements we are going to go over, so do not panic if it seems like a lot today. This may look a little bit familiar to you because it's similar to something we used with essays, but we have a we have a structure of an essay guide, which is, again is going to help us structure your speech. Just like in any other essay, you're going to begin with a hook. But I'm going to say that in a speech, your hook is even more important. It needs to be something that will really engage your reader. It's a great place to bring in pathos, like maybe an anecdote about some tragic event that happened around your topic, something like that. Context or background information. That's the who, what, when, where, and why. You do not give your, your opinion in that part. You just give it some context. If you've forgotten how to do that, um, remember there's all information about that in the writing folder of your OneNote notebook. Finally, your thesis, which you guys will have gotten um, feedback on before you proceed. And your body paragraph one, which is going to become from your first because. 
Same, guess what this looks like? A claim data warrant paragraph. You're gonna introduce your, your data, your information, and then give your data. If you're using quotes, you're gonna to need to say, according to someone, according to the author, according to whatever, you're gonna to have to tell me who, who it's from. Introduce your second piece of data, give another piece of data, conclude it with a warrant. You may need a concluding your transition sentence, or you may not. It kind of just depends on how your warrant lays out. Body paragraph two, shocker, comes from your second because. Claim data warrant paragraph again. The counterclaim paragraph, we're gonna go over in another day's um, lesson, so don't worry about that yet. You probably won't get there yet. And then we'll also talk conclusions in another day's lesson. So for today, what I would like for you guys to do is go back and start working on the draft of your speech. Spend some time working on that rough draft. Make sure your thesis statement is ready to go. Start looking for a hook. Start crafting that introduction. Start getting those claim data warrant paragraphs going. You already have your data because you've already done the research on it. So today is the day to really get a, a decent amount done on your rough draft. And I will be with you guys tomorrow to answer any questions. Um, I have been uh, giving feedback over thesis statements over the weekend as well, but I am probably not going to be able to get to any of that on Monday, so you'll have to wait on me for that. Um, good luck, guys, and I know you're going to have a great day.